this little guy running up from the water. While splashing around in the waves, he got himself a nice rash from a violent encounter with some mean mosquitoes. Boy, that rash must be itchy. You can tell he's been scratching himself because of all the scratch marks all over him. Now this indicates that patients with Zika virus can get a rash. Not all patients with Zika virus will develop this rash, but it is present in up to 20% of cases. Now you can feel bad for this Zika-infected boy, but rest assured, he fought back against those nasty blood-sucking mosquitoes. In fact, he managed to smash up a bunch of them and place their remains in this now bloody bucket of his. It's totally full of blood. Anyways, all of these smashed up and bloody mosquitoes in the bucket represent that Zika virus is diagnosed using a blood sample, or serology. Now little man really can't catch a break though. You can see his bucket is stuck in these three chains embedded in the ocean floor. Now these chains also have mosquitoes just smashed up all over them. This represents that Zika virus can be diagnosed with a polymerase chain reaction. At Physio, we like to use three chains to represent PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. So again, bucket of blood for serology tests, and three chains for polymerase chain reaction. As if things couldn't be worse, look at those red eyes from all the sand the kid got in them. Well, those red eyes represent conjunctivitis that's present in Zika infections. So again, little kid with red eyes running up to his mommy will help you remember conjunctivitis. Now look at the boy's father resting here on the beach with his pregnant wife. He's drinking water from these water bottles. Because water is so central to supportive care in practically any condition a person can have, at Physio, we like to use water to represent supportive care. You're sick, let's give you some water. This is really the only treatment for Zika virus anyways. There isn't a vaccine, there isn't a cure, there's no antivirals, just supportive care. Help the patient get through the illness until they fight it off themselves. So again, water bottles for supportive care as treatment. You may also notice this man gagging in disgust when he takes a drink. I guess the water has a bad flavor. This apparently potent flavor represents flavivirus. So again, bad flavored drink stands for flavivirus.